Welcome back to Rovers Fan FC TV. Today we are away to Little Oakley. Now, a bit of a delicate subject, Little Oakley. Last season they seemed to get the better of us, winning both at home 3 0 and here 4 2. But however, this is a different season. We're starting much stronger. Hopefully that means that we get a better start towards this game. Now, Luke. Let's, before we go into obviously what's happened in the car park and getting in here, let's just talk about the game in general. Like Little Oakley, we're here away. It's a Tuesday night. What are your thoughts yeah. on the game tonight? But Tuesday right away is going to be difficult. Um, obviously, yes, they are classed as our bogey side. They've done the double over us last season. Um, so it is going to be difficult. But it's a new season, as you just rightly said. Um, we're on a bit of a high. Um, I don't know what their form is, um, but we're joint top. We've got a bit of a momentum. Uh, yes, we haven't obviously played since the 10th of August, but we played obviously uh, Saturday and Silver where we won on the 95th minute. We've been such a penalty. Hoping that builds a little bit back more momentum into the into the teammates and into the club. And hopefully, yes, we do get something out of this because obviously they are our bogey side. So, look, I'm confident, but obviously there's a bit of doubt in me because obviously they're bogey side. Every, every club has their bogey side. Um, but hopefully today we can get the three points and the yellows can uh, bring it back to uh, Essex back into Wakering. No, I completely agree. I think that every, you're right, every side has a bogey side and that this little Oakley team just happened to beat us. We don't know why we couldn't beat them last year, but here's hopeful. Uh, let's now talk about our experience so far at Little Oakley. Now, Finn's not here this week um, due to circumstances, so normally we do what's pissed you off this week, Finn. However, for this Tuesday segment, we're going to do what's pissed you off this week, Lou. So, Lou, what has pissed you off this week? Well, first of all, no drum allowed in, um, which is complete pathetic. Um, yes, I understand there's housing over there, but this is football. Um, go and get a grip, really. Um, I think it's absolutely pathetic that no drums allowed in when I bought it here last year. Maybe it was a bit too loud for them when they don't make no noise themselves, we'll get no fans. Um, yeah, that's really got on my nerves, really, so far. Mm -hmm. um, also, obviously, I had to pay to get in, which I don't mind, but obviously we're on the committee, so it should be free of charge to get in, but they've got no names on the sheet of paper. Um, so again, that's two things that's really got on my nerves so far. So yeah, what else can go wrong today? I completely agree in the sense of, I think it's just like a lack of unorganisation from uh, their club's part. And uh, I feel like communication is a key, like whether it's, you know, Premier League football or non-league in the sense of it. So uh, it's not really set the tone. Consider and I agree, like, I was here, Steve was here uh, and Finn was here as well. The fact is that we couldn't, for some reason today, bring the drum in, which I feel kills the vibe for non-league football. And it's just a shame. That's all I'd say. It's just a shame given the situation, but is. we're not going to get too upset about it, given the circumstances. We're just going to dig deep, support our team, support the boys, and we'll see how we go. So finally, score predictions. Score predictions. I'm actually yes. going to go quickly because they're coming out. I'm going to go for 2-0 tonight. 2-0 to Rovers. I'm going to go 2-1. Wakering. 2-1. Let's hope, I'm hoping though that George still keeps his clean yes. sheets, but as we always say at the start of every match, come, come on, on your Rovers. Rovers. So we're here at Little Oakley. Um, I'm not going to kick off, got some bit of food here. Uh, bacon cheeseburger, just give it a bit of a taste, really. Oh, he's found the hot food. Mm. It's not bad. At least the bun's crispy. You know, sometimes at other clubs, it's not as crispy, but I've done well here. What are you saying for a score, Lou? Give it seven. Seven out of ten? Mm. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Rovers review. Kick off has that begun. Go on, Michael. Oh. 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 Unlucky, well done, boys! Yes! Ooh! Oh. 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 Lucky. Keep going, lads. Was it handball or not? I couldn't see. I didn't really couldn't see either. I can't, I can't say yes or no. So I just say it was a box. Good area, guys. I'll look back on that in a minute. I got it. But well done. Well done. And again. Yes. Come on! 
Can. Can. Yes. 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 Why? Thank you well. Don't mess with it. That'll do. That'll do though. We all denied. Why? Oh, Why? Oh, 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 oh. Well done. Aaron. No. Call on the ball. No. Michael. Oh. Yeah. 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 Get in there. Yes. Get in there. Great finish. Yes. H. Harry. Good lad. Go on. Get in there. Get in there. We love you, Rose. Get in. We love you, Rovers. We do. We love you, Rovers. We do. Oh, Rovers, we love you. I've got two more. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's not so good. Benny. Well done. Yeah. Oh, corner. Oh. Okay, I'm okay for the time being. Thank you. No. Let's have one. Let's force it through. Yeah. Oh. Tough time to get that. Half time here at Little Oakley. It's Little Oakley 1. Great Rovers 2. So it's currently half time here at Little Oakley. Great way from Rovers a 2 1 up thanks to a very nice own goal from Little Oakley through a header and Harry Brown being the shit houser that he is causing mayhem on the pitch. But it is 2 1, you know, they did get a goal back. Quite a scrappy goal indeed, but it's still 2 1. Lou, what are your thoughts on the first half? Very quick summary, really. Uh, going 2 0 up. Um, good start from the Rovers. Five minutes later, a scrappy goal. Um, half time's come and it may have settled the ship for both sides, but the next goal is crucial. Uh, and obviously, as I said to Lou, it's kind of like deja vu. We were 2-1 up here last year and the result is losing 4-2. Uh, what do you think the boys need to do to try and avoid getting a result like that again? Stop the long throw. It's not, they're not... Yeah, they, they get that ball over quickly. That is their key. That's the way they will play. They're not exactly the greatest team. That's what they will do. So they've got to do is just try and stop that. They get the ball further up this side so they can't... This guy here, he's pretty decent with this throw. And other than that, we're the better team, basically. No, I absolutely agree. I think that this, for some reason, is a little locally team. They seem to bring out, not the worst in our football, but they seem to change the way we want to yeah. play. It makes us want to play over the top, which we know is not our game. So I'm sure that Marcus and Bunny have got in there at half-time, readdress the situation, and I think it's just the best. The boys need to calm down, yeah. not get any scraps on the pitch, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, so that's far from us so far at half-time. We've got 45 minutes to go. And as we always say, and every time, come, come on, on your Rovers! Rovers. Two one. And that one. Well done, Max Canandy. Hit it. Who? George. Well done. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh corner! Don't let, I'll go. Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Rovers! 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 Three, two! Yeah! 
Score, Max. <laughs> Football. Oh. Who? Who? Yes. Foul him there. <coughs> Good knock. B. Good old. Corner. Go. Yeah! Harrison! Hey, Ben! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Harrison! Harrison! Come on, get it! Yeah, hey, hey, hey! It's that! Love it. Hey, I'll take this, sis. We'll be fucking annoyed about it. Fucking hell, Fucking hell, Lovely. Keep going, boys. Two white green on the Tuesday night. We are in Zaka's and fucking show. What a feeling. What a night. Oh, what a night. What's in white green on a Tuesday night. We are in Zaka's and fucking show. What a feeling. What a night. Clear it. Clear it. Yeah. Time, let alone clean two. Great work, good drivers. We are top of the league. We are top of the league. And we are top of the league. We are top of the league. And we are top of the league. We are top of the league. And we are top of the league. Time here at Little Oakley. Where's fish? Little Oakley two. Great work, good drivers. Four. Guys, I don't want to speak too heavily about it, but considering this team beat us twice last year, home and away, 3-0 at Burroughs Park and 4-2 away here, revenge has never tasted sweeter in my mind. Steve, what are your thoughts on the game today? Yeah, we dug in deep, thankfully, but they were trying to get us to play at their level of football, which don't okay. help. Uh, but no, we managed to get out of it and we dug in and score some goals. I think it was a, yeah, I think it was absolute quality today and the fact is you know that I feel Harry Brown's getting back on track. What do you think about Harry today, Steve? Oh yeah, uh, to, to be honest, he was positioning was where he should be just for there to get the final touch yeah. and credit to his final goal for his hat trick, that cut into the box and into the Corner. near post yeah. of the keeper, it was just sublime. I think as well the fact is you know that we, we conceded quite early on in the second half, Lou. Literally, it was about a few minutes in and they made it 2-2. What do you think the boys did differently compared to last year that they were able to bounce back to make it 4-2 this time? Well, obviously, it's not great conceding early on in the second half. Because uh, as I said at my half-time interview, um, next goal was crucial and they got it early doors. Um, but what the boys didn't do is let their heads drop. Um, they kept going. Um, they didn't let their heads drop. Went on went up 3-2 and had that momentum there to edge it where then we did get the final the final goal to edge it 4-2 and that was basically the three points done you, do, you, you knew this game had to have a two goal 
edge and thankfully it came to the yellow boys tonight. They definitely played some interesting football, Little Oakley. As I say, it wasn't the greatest football they played. It was mainly long balls over the top and falling on the floor. So, Little Oakley, we'll see at Burroughs Park. But some announcements. We gave the man of the match to Harry Brown, Harry Brown. for his commitment today. We feel he's back on track, doing what he does best and being the shit hours that he is. Second of all, one of us actually got an assist today. Who got, who got the assist? Woo! I'll take it. So, we'll Come on! Come on! so we'll make sure we put Lou on the stats for oh, our yes. Wakeman's board. But I don't know about you guys, it has been a long day and no offence, but get me out of this shit hole. Oh, okay. Come on! Okay, so that I've been Dan, been Lou, 